you have this driving urge to go buy a lottery ticket. Now, if that ever happens to you, go buy a lottery ticket. Here's the thing. You can, you can manifest winning lottery numbers, but mm -hmm. the thing that is most interesting about that is that when... Uh, he, here's what you're saying and how it's playing out vibrationally. You're saying, you've said, I want, I want a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And that's a little bit like saying, I want to eat all of the food that I will ever eat today. And we say, can you feel how it is softer and less resistant to say, I want money to flow to me in abundance that I can comfortably enjoy. It's a softer statement. Yes. And, but when you say, I want a lot of money, mm -hmm. and you don't have any way of believing that it will come, then when you say, I want a lot of money, it's an uphill statement. Can, now, let's play with this just a little bit so that you can mm -hmm. feel it, because it's a big topic for so many of you. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to offer some words under some conditions, and we're going to demonstrate by pointing whether it's upstream or downstream feeling. Okay. And we're predominantly going to focus upon the vibration that is yours, but it's not so different from what a lot of people in the room are feeling. So this will be beneficial to everyone. So I want to win the lottery. Mm -hmm. Now that was clearly an upstream statement because what it, what it was saying is, I want something that I don't have and I don't see any viable way of getting it. So I want it to come through this method that I believe is possible but the odds of it happening to me are really really remote in other words that's that's what when in when you say I want to win the lottery that's what the vibration of it is saying and it's upstream and therefore counter to all of this money that's calling you here so so when you feel that in other words when you feel that in your stomach in other words do you buy lottery tickets do any of you when you buy lottery tickets, do you, do you feel euphoria while you're putting your money down? If you're feeling euphoria while you're putting your money down, then keep doing it for the entertainment value. In other words, but, but and you for the most part, what we see in those who are in Las Vegas or those who are spending their money on the lottery is that those are upstream actions for the most part. It's a really rare one of you that is just bipping along and all of a sudden is overtaken with a feeling of elation. But if it is not that feeling that you are feeling, in other words, if, and so then people say, well, Abraham, I'm not really sure what I'm feeling. And we say, that's exactly the point that we've been trying to make all day here today. You've got this mix of energies going on that you have become accustomed to. And most of you are not really that keenly aware if your feelings downstream or upstream, because you're up and down and up and down and up and down. And you don't focus upon anything long enough to really feel the feeling of it. Our friend just before who was talking, She'd been focused in alignment with source long enough that she felt the true ecstasy. And if she felt like that while she was thinking about a lottery ticket, she should go buy a lottery ticket and it would be a winner. We're not kidding you. But when you're buying one out of hope or when you're buying one because you're bored or you're buying one because you don't want to go home and wash the dishes or you're buying one because you're, in other words, people are buying lottery tickets in all kinds of vibration that will not possibly yield them what they want. And so, now we're not saying to you that this is not a good process by which your fortune will come to you. We're just saying, don't buy the ticket till you line up the energy. Don't buy the ticket till you line up the energy. And when you line up the energy, you won't need the ticket. Because when you line up the energy, the universe will yield it to you through this path of least resistance and this one and this one and this one and this one until all of a sudden money will be flowing into your experience and you will laugh at the remarkable ways in which it will come. Ways that you didn't count on, ways that you didn't plan for, ways that you didn't queue up for in terms of action. Just because you flowed the energy and you stopped doing that thing you do that kept you out of the stream of it, you see. What I have noticed I think is pretty funny is Med meditating just on um, imagining myself having this abundance of money and, and just having this and not having to worry about anything. Uh, the funny thing is, it's, little things come to me um, here and there 
but like my sister is getting you know decent refund back plus she ever paid something she's getting more money back there and then my uh, boyfriend is getting a huge lump sum of money from out of nowhere and it's like it's manifesting all around me but not specifically for me well all of that's for you it's for you to see how it happens and if you will step back a little bit we want to we want to find a, a way into your belief system we'll use some will will tell you some stories so that we can work our way in there there are people who are earning all around this world so disproportionate to the action that they are offering that you could not possibly reconcile the wealth that's flowing to them you just can't reconcile it there are a majority of people that are accustomed to performing an action and receiving a financial response performing an action and receiving a financial response and when your income is tied to an action the amount that you can receive proportionately is minuscule and we would put the lottery even in that same sort of category mm -hmm. when you're trying to make it happen by performing an action you are limited by the beliefs that you have about time and space in other words you will say I only I only make this much per hour and there's only this many hours in a day and then you can work overtime and you can work double time and you can work extra time and you can leverage your time in different ways but until you leverage through a alignment you really are in the category with millions of other people where not very much is going to happen where if you say okay I'm willing to play the game differently I'm willing to accept on faith maybe a little that Abraham's right and that all of the struggling that I've done has put a lot of money for me in vibrational escrow and I'm willing to go on faith that this universe is abundance and that there is an open valve for me through which I can receive abundance I'm willing to go along with that idea and I'm willing to play it that way for just a little while where instead of considering action in relationship to money I instead consider emotion in relationship to money how do I feel about money? How do I feel about money? I'm going to leverage through emotion rather than bang it out through action. I'm going to leverage. Now that doesn't mean stop your action. Go to work. Do whatever you need to do. Let the money come in in the little pitiful, mediocre way that it flows into your experience. In other words, you, you don't want to pinch that off. Let it come. But while it's coming, appreciate it. While it's coming, look forward to it. While it's coming, uh, compliment yourself and compliment the others in other words let it be an energy game while you're living the action game because you can do both it doesn't have to be one or the other